This is the Solid Signal Podcast for the week of June 6th, 2022. And the subject of this week's podcast is the problem with everything is the cable. Um, You know, way, way back, one of my earliest mentors in this business was a great guy by the name of Bruce Vincent. I haven't seen Bruce in a very long time, and um, I'm sure he's retired by this point. But Bruce had a lot of great sayings, and um, some of them haven't aged so well, but, you know, that happens all the time. One of Bruce's most common sayings was, the problem with everything is the cable. And he's not wrong. If you're trying to diagnose a problem with something, anything in your home theater setup or in your business, it's most likely the connection between two things that is the problem. I found that out myself when I rewired my home theater myself um, a couple of months ago, and I ended up having to replace all the HDMI cables. None of them were working with my new system, and I understood why, but it's just a perfect example of that. The problem with everything is is going to be the cable. Um, those interconnects are the first things to break. And so if you're having any sort of issues, you should really look. And the the biggest problem is that a lot of cables really just look similar. And I'm not just talking about whether or not the power cords or whatever look, look the same as other cords, but I'm talking about how a good HDMI cable, for example, is not necessarily going to look any different from a bad one. Um, When they moved from like USB 2.0 to USB 3.0, they made the center of the USB connector blue so you had some idea what you were doing and there was a little super speed logo and things like that. They never did that with HDMI. You know, today's HDMI cables, which are rated for 18 gigabit plus and um, Ethernet over HDMI and all the things that you need for a modern setup, look exactly like the ones you would have gotten back in the mid-2000s. And so it's very hard to figure out which ones are which. And that's one of the reasons that I ended up just basically tossing all of my old HDMI cables because I didn't want to use them by mistake. The same thing can be said of RG6 cables, although there is a hint. If you look at the silk screening on the side of an RG6 cable, you can usually Google that and find out what the specs are. But regardless, just picking up two cables is not necessarily going to give you an idea that one of them is going to be good for you and one of them is going to be bad. By and large, I tend to stay away from those cables with the molded plastic ends because that tends to signify a more poorly made cable. But on the other hand, there are some of them that are pretty darn good. And I myself have been known to cut the molded plastic ends off of a cable and then put better ends on it, and the cable didn't get any better, it's just the ends did. I haven't tried to pass that off as quality cable, I've used it for myself, and it's worked when I've needed its work. But the point here is that you just can't tell a book by its cover. You really got to have good stuff to begin with, not buy bad stuff, and make sure that whatever you're using is going to be the right thing for you. So here's here's where you do that. Now, even though we've all gotten a lot more used to ordering things online in the last couple of years, it's still very tempting to go down to your local home store, uh, big box store, you know, the kind I'm talking about, and pick up your RG6 cables there. That is almost always a mistake because those cables tend to be certified for uh, cable TV use or antenna use, and that's great, but they very rarely have the solid copper center conductor that you need, and they're very rarely rated for the full three gigahertz spectrum that you need for satellite and cell booster. So I would say just skip the home store unless you're in an incredible emergency. And even so, make sure you're labeling that cable to know that it's not going to be as good as anything else. So what do you do? What do you do? You plan ahead and you go to solidsignal.com and you pick up the cables that you need there. There's just tons of them, thousands of choices. And that's why you don't necessarily just want to rely on your intuition. What you want to do is call the experts. See, SolidSignal.com is a little bit different from a lot of other online sites. Just like you, I shop at a lot of the same places, and they have really, really bad pre-sale support. Some of them don't even publish their phone numbers, and the best you can do is talk to them on chat, and you're dealing with a, a script reader in another part of the world. Nothing against those folks. They do hard work, and they, they certainly do 
make a, a real difference if you need some sort of information in the middle of the night. But when you want to talk to an expert, you want to talk to somebody who knows this equipment, who isn't just reading a script, but who is in fact really versed with the products that they sell. And that's the difference that you'll find at SolidSignal.com. When you call us during East Coast business hours, you get somebody who knows their stuff. And why only East Coast business hours? Because you're always calling our offices in Novi, Michigan, which is in the East Coast, and you're always getting a real trained technician, not somebody who's willing to work the overnight shift just so that they can get a few extra dollars or somebody who's overnight is your middle of the day and your middle of the day is their overnight because they're on the other side of the world. Get a real expert. Get somebody who knows what they're talking about. Call the folks at Solid Signal. Call them at 888-233-7563. That's 888-233-7563 with any question. There are some really great folks out there who are answering the phones who know what they're talking about. And more importantly, we've got a whole operation full of people, myself included, by the way, who are subject matter experts and can answer those questions if the frontline tech support rep isn't able to do it right away. We're just a chat away, or sometimes we're just right in the cubicle next door. That's kind of the, the magic stuff about Solid Signal. We all work together and try to take care of the customer the best we can. That's about all I've got for the podcast this week. Do me a favor, shop at SolidSignal.com. They are the folks who sponsor this podcast and pay my salary. Awful nice people. And while you're at it, like and subscribe to this podcast wherever you get it. it makes it me look good to my bosses. And I will be back with all sorts of new and fun stuff to talk about next week. <laughs>